NVMe ranges from two to six times the speed of SSD-based storage, so isn't that exactly what you want for professional video editing? I mean, performance is king, right? Well, kind of. NVMe isn't quite ready for prime time in large capacity storage, though. So why? Three reasons. Bottlenecks, capacity, and form factor. Let's take a look at each. Let's start with bottlenecks. If there's one thing that holds back the fastest technologies in the world, it's all the other technologies. Removing bottlenecks requires motherboards, PCIe lanes, operating systems, BIOS, more and more updates. We're still at a point where that awesome 4X benchmark means nothing when it comes to being put in a 10 gig environment with a bunch of editors. That adds up to 4X cost with 1X performance. Number two, capacity. Many high performance systems are still actually being built with standard hard drives because SSDs are too much per terabyte. Multiply that by three and that's what your cost is with the same NVMe storage. And lastly, number three, form factor. Now, the majority of NVMe drives are built with something called an M2 connection, which is designed to use uh, directly on a motherboard. It, it basically looks like RAM. The U2 form factor is designed for external storage for NVMe and designed to be used in things like RAIDs. That said, this form factor is not like standard hard drives and SSDs where you can just pop it into your existing system. You actually need a whole new system with all new connectivity to support U2 based storage. NVMe, really cool, very fast. However, we're still several years away from, these, from this being the right choice for video editors.